Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to make this popular split scan effect in After Effects. Today I would like to present Matt Voice, a talented motion designer who is specialized in kinetic typography. He is going to teach you how to work in After Effects and how to do professional animations. He collaborated with brands such as Honda, Netflix, BBC and Disney+. In this course you will learn how to create letter forms filled with personality and bring them to life through playful animation. Express an idea, a quote or a phrase by creating an original design in Illustrator and putting it into motion in After Effects. Matt will show you where to get inspiration for animated typography. You will get some great book recommendation and he will share how to research your color palettes. Create an original animated typography design and share your message with the world. To find out more click the link in the description and join the course. Now let's get back to our tutorial. In this tutorial I won't use like two names because uh, that's a little bit more elaborated and time consuming to make. Uh, I'm just gonna go with one name that is going to repeat itself because it's more simple to do. Let's create a new composition, go to composition, select new composition. Um, I'm gonna go with 3 seconds, uh, 1080p, black background, click OK. And select the type tool which is located right here and click on the screen, type in something, I'm gonna press caps lock. And now I'm gonna press caps lock again so it deactivates. I'm gonna go back to the selection tool. Um, what I'm gonna do is press the letter S on the layer so it's gonna show the scale. I'm gonna scale this up to 240. Uh, from here I'm gonna select the pan behind and just select this little target sign right here and pull all the way to the beginning here and I'm gonna go to the align and align it to the center. If you don't have the align tool go to windows you can select the align. So go back to the layer select the time watch activate it and make sure that you're you know at here at the beginning and then uncheck the constraint proportions and then pull this I'm gonna pull it to one and a half seconds and I'm gonna enter here type in zero. So as you can see if I pull this back it's gonna come back. So basically it scales only horizontally as you can see. I'm gonna select both of the diamonds, right click on the diamonds and go to keyframe assist and select easy ease. Now I'm gonna select the layer again and press ctrl D so this, this way is gonna create a new copy. From here I'm gonna select this uh, little target point again make sure that you're on this uh, pan behind drag it to the opposite side and click on the layer here press S for scale and now we're gonna select both of these diamonds right click go to keyframe assist and select time reverse keyframe so basically this is going to reverse that one and you know you get the main idea okay so from here i'm gonna pull this thing right here so it's gonna loop it from here it's gonna end up here and it's gonna basically loop only this part select both of the layers right click go to pre-composition and i'm gonna rename it as text click ok i'm gonna create a new solid right click here somewhere go to new select solid i'm gonna rename this as gradient and then click OK. Make sure to drag the gradient under the text and I'm gonna go to the effects and presets. If you don't have the effects and presets you can go to windows and select effects and presets and type in a gradient and just to select the gradient ramp pull it into the gradient solid layer that we created. Right click on the gradient go to pre-composition and rename it as uh, displacement and make sure that your you selected the move all attributes into the new composition then click OK. Now you can uncheck this uh, layer go back to the text click on the text now we're gonna go back to the effects and presets and type in time displacement and there you go drag it into the text layer and go up here where the effect controller is and make sure make sure to change the text to the displacement uh, map that we created. So as you can see it started to distort. Now why is it be, why is it distorting it like this? Because we created a displacement 
where we got this dark side of the gradient that makes the text slow down and the white side basically it's, uh, speeds it up. So this is why it looks like this. You can go to the text and here you can see the options also. The time resolution FPS is on 60, which is pretty good for me. You can also decrease it. And as you can see, there's like, you're gonna show it like with less cuts. I don't know, I'm gonna increase it to, I don't know, 90. So this way it's gonna be even more smoother. You got the max displacement time. Uh, you can increase the time and the delay is gonna be even bigger. So I'm gonna, for example, try it out with uh, two. As you can see, basically distorted a lot. So I'm gonna go back. So I saw another trick that you can do. You can go to the displacement composition, double click and select the pen tool and draw something on this. I'm gonna go with some waves, go to the effect and presets, type in blur. And let's find the directional blur, which is located right here. Just drag it into the shape layer that we created. And here you can see the options. We got the blur length and increase the blur length. And it's, go it's going to make this smooth blur. So I'm gonna go with some around 350. And I'm gonna also adjust it. And now we can go back to the composition. And as you can see, it creates this uh, weird distortions, like more crazier stuff. So it basically doesn't distort only from left to right, it creates some bumps in it. So make sure to create uh, those waves in a way that it doesn't distort too much. But yeah, mainly this is it. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.